Kiki, I want to start off with you. A bit of a different situation in the Suzuki Cup uh, in Singapore. A uh, bit of a bubble situation, not ideal preparations because of the travel, the pandemic going on. Could you describe your experience here with the team? I mean, it's always good. Every camp is nice to see the boys and all, but coming to a major tournament like the Suzuki Cup, you know, you would wish for having a better preparation. And it's always been like this major event every two years, you know. Um, other teams had the, the luxury of, of being together for a longer time and having recent camps, but with all the, the COVID, COVID mess happening right now, that's the best we could have done, you know? And then, I mean, you have to work with what you have, you know? Now, how about you, Sandra? How was that experience like? And what were your biggest takeaways from that tournament? Especially because you're just 18 years old. You're just a child, Sandro. years old, cannot believe it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it was my first time, obviously, to be part of the team. And uh, I was dreaming of this moment since I was like six. And just the, the boys, the veterans especially, they were just so welcoming. They made my time easy most of the time. Uh, they most made my time there in Singapore. Easy, they always helped me out whenever I needed it, um, gave me compliments, gave me criticism. So i just really grateful to the whole team, to the whole staff for really welcoming me into the team. Sandro, can you describe the leadership of uh, Kiki, right, Shelt? Uh, like you mentioned praise and criticism. How did he criticize you? Uh, criticize? I, I, I'm not sure if it was Kiki um, specifically. <laughs> I'm a good guy. <laughs> I'm one of the good veterans. Yeah, I'm a good guy. I mean, even after my debut, I didn't do that good. Uh, he was just full of compliments. He was really congratulated for my debut. Uh, so yeah, from Kiki, I don't think he criticized me at any at any time. He's he's a great leader. I think he deserved to, to really uh, wear the armband for the last game. You can see it in the past tournaments, even where. His passion, his commitment to the Philippine national team is just so high. Well, Kiki. Good answer, good answer. <laughs> Kiki, perfect. I was going to say, now you can criticize him, but Billy's got something for you. Yeah, Kiki, how about Sandra? What can you say about his potential with, with the Ascals? I mean, before the camp, I've been hearing already um, words about him. and He's just 18 and it's incredible the confidence he already has in training or the way he was um, he integrated himself to the team. From day one, he does, he's not afraid to make jokes or something with the old boys. And I mean, when I was 18, there's no chance I had this kind of confidence, you know. And the boy is just growing, you know. He's like, has a couple of years more, he already has a very good athletic um, body shape and it's just mm -hmm. going to get better. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's good to have him already now with the team, so he's going to learn even more. And there's a lot, lot more to, to come from him, I promise. Kiki, you know, you're, he's not the only young player that was part of that team. A lot of the, a lot of the squad actually came from the ADT, the Ascals Development Team. Can you talk a bit about, you know, the youth that you, the team had, the potential that the team had? Because it feels like there was a stretch where the team was just full of veterans, and now all of a sudden, all these young kids are out there. They might, they might have TikTok, Kiki. <laughs> I don't think you have TikTok, so tell, tell us about the what, young kids there. That? No, um, I mean it makes me feel older, definitely. You know that. <laughs> It does uh, make me realize that I'm a veteran now. You know, we had a lot of, of lot of players um, canceling last minute, last second, coming like with injuries or maybe COVID uh, problems, visa problems. You know, it's a negative. But if you take the positive, is that we were able to bring all those young players with us, having a nice first experience. Nice. It's it's, it's a major tournament, Suzuki Cup, for them to to be with us will help them in the future, definitely. Sandro, this group, as I mentioned a while ago, had a lot of young players in it, and yet it felt like you were always in the game against Singapore, against Thailand, and knowing that you now know what, now know what it takes to reach that level, how, how do you think this Suzuki Cup will help you in your own personal development in the future? Um, I think that the Suzuki Cup and the whole experience um, is really going to help me because it was um, my first time really to play with, with men, you know, before this tournament I was usually just playing um, youth competitions, so it's, it's a really big step up to play youth to men um, right away. So I think it, 
it was it was really important for me to take this step uh, right now, especially at 18, because that's when most players make the step from youth to to the senior competitions. Yeah, and uh, again, that step is big. Uh, the gap is uh, a lot bigger from playing with guys your age to guys as old as Kiki. So, uh, Kiki, <laughs> when you look... <laughs> <laughs> no, but Kiki, this, this group, as we mentioned a while ago, had to go through tough times, and yet you played teams that were a lot more prepared, uh, especially those guys uh, in, in Thailand and in Singapore in those particular games. Yeah, what does it say? What does it say about the level of this team that you actually were close to beating those teams, even with relatively almost a, just a week of preparation? Yeah, there's so much positive to take out. Yeah, I know. I said, like, it would have been a total different ball game, for example, if we would have met Singapore maybe more to, to the end of the group stage, because at the end you, you'll feel that there was more chemistry. We would be training every day, and. The first game, which was very crucial against Singapore, we've been together maybe for for three. There were players coming in one day before. Three, and I, I mean, we we dominated them in the second half. We switched off for three, four minutes, and, the, uh, and then they scored two goals. But I, I'm pretty sure if we would have just a little bit more time with the quality and in, in, in the individuals we have, um, chemistry would just come eventually, and we'll have a, a even better chance. But I'm still proud for what we have achieved, you know, the games, everything was close. We were so close to draw Thailand and I feel like we had, would have deserved a point against Singapore for sure also. Absolutely. And, you know, before we let you guys go, Kiki, what's next for you guys? How excited are you for the 2023 Asian Cup qualifiers? You want to go first? No, oh, Kiki, yeah. no, you first, you first. We, we asked oh. you. Oh, ah, okay, okay, sure, sure. Um, I mean, hopefully there's a lot lots to come next, you know, like you said, I'm old, but just the number, you know, I feel very good. So um, now I'm just going to focus on, on going back to Thailand mm -hmm. um, and then we have the, the qualifiers in June. And um, I think if, if now with having the young boys coming closer and the boys from Europe having a better chance, I'm, I'm very confident that um, the Asia Cup is very, very possible for us. It would be very cool to qualify another time now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and Sandro, of course, uh, right now that you got a taste of your of uh, international action, you made your debut, what would it mean to you to actually find a way to fight your way into that squad going into the Asian Cup qualifiers? I mean, it would, it would mean so much. I watched the last Asian Cup 2019 from our living room. So just to witness it um, firsthand, would, it would be a dream come true, of course. Um, but it's going to be really tough, of course, to get into the squad. Uh, there are a lot of players who weren't able to make it, who are playing in top leagues in, around Asia and Europe. So, yeah, I'm going to have to fight for a spot, and it's not going to be easy. We're excited to see that fight from you, Sandro, uh, and excited for your future. Kiki, I'm sorry we made you feel old. We don't mean that. You no, look very, no, no. You we're, look, we're the same age. You look as young as Sandro, all right? You're good. You're good. Yes, we're friends again. 